so starting from this week and also in the next uh, two or three weeks, so we are talk about uh, map design. So specifically, we are talk about three types of map or the two types of maps. So first, we are going to see that how we can create a static map. Okay, so that those are the traditional maps that we can view, and those maps on paper, so we print it out. Uh, we can view those maps on uh, digital format like PDF, uh, JPEG, etc. And next, we are going to see that how we can create online map. Okay, uh, so those maps will be interactive maps, um, and people can also still view those maps from their digital devices like laptops. Uh, cell phones, etc. And starting from there, we all learned that we can how we can create apps. Okay, uh, so apps will be more um, containing will contain more functions that allow user to explore uh, the visualizations that we created, and also we can provide additional uh, functions like filters, statistics, etc. Okay, uh, so before we start. Um, I want to just emphasize that the, the problems are something that we need to take um, consider seriously about data visualizations. Uh, so if you look at those two examples, this is the first one. I'm not sure whether or not you have seen this one before, so uh, which was pretty, um, I think, um, goes well uh, several years ago on internet. Uh, so if we look at the color um, of the skirt, and some people will see black and blue, just as I am seeing it as black and blue. And however, some people will see it as white and gold. Okay. Um, so it's a true story. So you, you, you can test on your own. So you can see what kind of color are you seeing now. Um, and if you look at the second example, and if you compare those two lines, the left one and also the right ones, and the most words of us will consider the right line is longer than the left line. Okay, and actually, so if uh, you're using, if you marry that, um, you also actually the both lines have the same length. So those are so something that we need to really consider about visualization. So. Uh, don't think that the maps we created are always objective. And actually, visualization is very, very subjective. And sometimes our brains uh, can, <clears throat> that is because how, how our brains is functioning. So our brain or our eyes may cheat us, okay? So something that we look at, they are for example, the different colors, people will see different colors on the same image, and also we all have different feelings in our, our impressions about the lens of those two lines because that, it, that is how our, how our brain is functioning. Uh, so when we talk about the human perceptions, so here are some, some features, like we tend to perceive what we expect to perceive. So we tend to believe what we want to believe. Okay, so it is not really objective. And also men that tend to be quickly to form but resistant to change. Okay, uh, and also the other, uh, of the other bullet items. So I'm not going to the details. So I, I provide a very great readings online starting from this paper. So if you have time, and also actually I, I recommend every student that who who are in the who want to create maps should read those uh, articles. So, but here I just want to give you two examples. So the first one is that the impression resist change. So if you look at the first face, so it's a it's like a male's face, okay. And however, if you look at the last one, okay, uh, so it is a, a young lady. Okay, to me, it looks like it is a young lady. However, if you start from this one and until to, towards the end, and probably it's hard to change your mind that uh, this will be a young lady, okay? So if you start from this first page, 
And another example is that, so uh, when we look at this image, okay, so some people will look at this as, as a young lady, and some people will see an old lady, okay? So if I tell you, if you saw a young lady, and if I tell you, okay, it, actually it can be viewed as an old lady. So actually it's, it's pretty hard uh, for you to change your mind, okay? And, uh, and it's the same in the other way. So if you saw an older lady, and if I tell you actually, this can be seen as a young lady. And actually it's, it's also very pretty hard to, for you to change your first, your initial perception. Okay, again, so this article is highly recommended. And so cartography is one specific type of the data visualization. So that is, is um, going to create maps, okay? So it is a discipline that concerned with uh, conception, production, uh, dissemination, and the study of maps in all forms. And based on the definitions of this from this uh, textbook, so maps are the geographic representations of the culture and also physical environment, okay? Uh, so just as we saw earlier, so maps, like many other statistics, and also like many other uh, data visualizations, can distort the information. Okay, so maps that we created um, can distort the information. So here comes our uh, my second recommended reading. So that is also on Canvas. Those are the principles of the graphical excellence, okay? So first, you should present, a well-designed uh, presentation should present interesting data, okay? Which means that you should get familiar very well about your data, and also you should have a, a very clear topic that you want to tell uh, through your visualization or through your maps. And the idea should be communicated with clarity, precision, and also efficiency. Okay? Uh, so which means that you should the view, uh, you should give the view the greatest number of ideas within the shortest time. Okay, within the shortest time, with the least ink in a smallest space. Okay, with the least ink in a small space. So that, that is what we call it efficiency um, and also it is all, always uh, uh, multivariate so that we are always trying to compare the different multiple variables uh, on the map on the, uh, on the chart and also tell the truth about your data okay so precision and also clarity okay tell the truth about the data again this is for also from our actually this is from our team of size that some tips uh, to create visualizations. So keep it simple, okay? So don't try to create a very complicated um, visualizations. So for beginners, because uh, you're excited about those tools that you just learned, so you want to try as many tools as possible or as many techniques as possible, um, that actually is not necessary. So keep it as simple as possible and also know the strengths of your data. Okay, so know the strength. So what are the interesting part of your data? So what kind of story are you trying to tell? Okay, so has a point of the view. Okay, again, so the same, same uh, uh, I think tips from the previous one. So clarity, integrity, and also folks. Um, and one thing that you also keep in mind is about the perception issues, okay? Um, so those like, for example, some people that they, they have difficulties in distinguish green color and not the red color, okay? So when you create maps, you should try to avoid using green and the red only, okay? So because some people, they have difficulties uh, in distinguish uh, green color and also red color. 
And also when you design the symbols or when you design the uh, legends, so make sure that you have less than five uh, classes, which we mentioned earlier, so less than five categories or classes. Okay, uh, so again, so this is a, another very great readings article that talking about the uh, tips about data visualization. So I also uploaded those on cam cameras. So please read those three articles. Okay, so let's see some examples. So this is an example of the map. So, and I think we would all agree that this is a badly designed map. Okay, so there are several reasons. Um, first of all, so the, the words, the labels, you have too many labels and the labels are using different fonts. So that kind hide the story. So that uh, and also hide the map, the content of the map. Okay, so we don't have very clear logic, so idea that what this map is trying to tell. And let's see another example. So this is an example of the beautiful map. So actually, cartography is is a, is a, is a discipline that where it is a science plus art. Okay, science plus art. So you have to be try to be objective, try to be clear as possible. And also art part is that how can you use the, the nice uh, layout design, design the layout, and also how can you, ch how can you choose those beautiful color com com combinations. Okay, so those are the art part. Okay, and personally, I, I, would, I like this map is mainly because I like this. Is, this looks very uh, beautiful. So I like the color, the colors, okay. Um, uh, and also, I think everything is pretty clear. So it's 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 really a, an art. 